Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. My buddy Eugene brought me a present. It's actually from Tennis Warehouse, Pro Tour 2.0. Let's see how it is, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so shout out to Eugene for bringing me this racket. Um, he purchased it off of Tennis Warehouse. Um, if you don't know, this is the remake uh, of a very, very popular racket called the Pro, excuse me, Head Pro Tour 280. A lot of people refer it to, refer it to as the Thomas Mooster, Thomas Mooster racket that I have right here. Pro Tour 280. This one made in Austria. Okay, this one's my buddy Alan's. So he's kind of permanently let me borrow it. So Pro Tour 280 that Eugene got me, they actually spec it out for him. So it's 11.32 ounces, eight points head light, I'm guessing that swing weight at 298. So we'll test that out right now too. So what am I gonna do with this racket? Well, I'm gonna actually compare it to the Pro Tour 280. I know there's gonna be some differences and I'll go over that later, but let's just check out um, the specs right now. All right, so quick first impressions. Um, there's a cap grommet on this, as you guys can see. There's no cap grommet. <laughs> on this one which is the original um, they're both 18 by 20 pattern looks the same about the same width apart um, looking at the face tour series is in the same spot constant beam is in the same spot fonts a little different in constant beam um, the head's in the same spot except a little different bigger here no made in Austria, obviously. Uh, the other side, All right, Pro Tour 280, upside down. So check this out. So it says this is upside down, but this is right side up. So this is upside down, unless you hold it like this, in which the head will be upside down. So Eugene and I were talking about this. Um, he was saying, that's weird that they, uh, they, you know, when you hold a forehand, let's say, the writing is on the outside. When you hold a forehand, the writing is on the outside. So that's why one is constantly upside down and one's constantly straight, right? To show your opponent that it's straight. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, so, um, let's see. What cap is... Right, that this plastic fell off. Um, that's probably not going to fall off because it ain't 30 years old. So uh, inside, blank, blank on the side on, that's supposed to be blank, and specs on the side that's supposed to be spec. Okay, so it's time to take the plastic off. So another quick thing is this is a 3 8 that is a 5 8 So that'll probably maybe alter things a little bit, but hopefully not horribly, okay? So that's a 3 8 as you can see. Okay. All right. So let me actually just swing this. Whoa. Yeah, the old one feels heavier already to me, um, but let's let's see. Okay, balancing out the 2.0. Three. Wow, look, it's hanging. You guys wanted it to hang. This is the first time in history. I got it to stay in the, oh, the wind blew. 
oh well. Like somebody said, oh, can you have it hang there? That's the first time I ever got it to hang there. All right, 325, 325 millimeters. All right, let's see what the, the OG version comes out to. about 319 it's 319 I can't get it to hang 319 all right so 325 319 let's hit the scale all right at the scale with the pro tour 2.0 336. All right. The OG Pro Tour 280. 347. Since I have the OG here, let's swing weight this. Three twelve on the swing weight. Point oh three twenty nine. Okay, told you it was heavier. All right, let's go analyze. All right, so we got some interesting figures here. Um, let me first quickly go through a couple of things that, um, are standard in these rackets. So one quick difference, I'm not sure if it's a minor or major difference, it probably doesn't really matter. The Pro Tour 280 original Thomas Mooster was a 97, the remake is a 98. Um, not a big difference. The flex though on the Pro Tour 280 is a 65. So it's stiffer than the recreated version because these are the numbers that I found online. Uh, the new version 2.0 is a 58. So supposedly it's a softer racket. Um, they are both uh, 20 millimeters in the beam, both 18 by 20 string patterns. So those don't change. Um, so when you're looking at these two figures, when we play with it, we're gonna just have to assume that it's gonna be softer. Uh, which it probably is going to be. Uh, so, sorry. Now, let's look at the characteristics here of the two rackets. So the Pro Tour 280 is definitely heavier. Um, looks like over 10 grams, about 10 grams heavier. Uh, the balance though. So here's the interesting thing is this is head lighter. So... Hold on. So here's the interesting thing. This is head lighter. The Pro Tour 280 is surprisingly head lighter. And then, so that, that that's shocking to me that this is 325 and head heavier. So the swing weight is also lighter in that original OG version. Uh, whereas there's more weight in the head or the swing weight in the 2.0. That's kind of not what I feel, but I, I definitely felt the weight though of the 347. Um, I'm actually gonna swing them again just to, to see. 
Pro Tour 280, Pro Tour 2.0, excuse me. Oh. The old, the OG two, Pro Tour 280 feels more like a, like a two by four. Like you can feel weight immediately from handle all the way up. Like the weight is like all the way through. So it's probably balancing each other out. Um, whereas this one, the weight is like out from three o'clock and nine o'clock on up. So that's probably what the difference is. That's why those figures are like that. Yeah, because I would bet, I would bet that there's a ton of weight here on the old school one with the trice, even say trices system. So uh, there's a lot more weight here. And then obviously the weight here to balance it out. So two by four on the OG, a little more weight up top with the new 2.0 version. Okay, so there you go, guys. All right, in the, in the next video, not this video, we're going to test them out uh, against each other. We're going to get Coach Goo and Coach Chris to try it out. That'll be in, an, in another episode, okay? So, this, so these are the differences in that OG Pro Tour 280 Tomas Mooster Racket versus the new versus the new Pro Tour 2.0. Um, there's one quick caveat that I'd like to add. Back in the day, when these were made, um, you guys think quality control uh, was bad now or is bad now? I would say they were worse back then. So those numbers could definitely be um, far, far off. Um, for those of you who were quit, wanted to see these numbers, so unfortunately, I already strung it uh, with what Eugene wanted. It throws these off a little, a little more because throwing strings in there is going to alter a bunch of stuff. Okay, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.